is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, come on, Tarle Vu. We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So well, We appreciate uh, you growing one problem with us. Yeah, 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 sir. I've done gold reports and all the softwares and all your books and read it. Generational thank you. You are. Seminars. Thank so you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Don't make assumptions. Let your life be transformed. When you stop making assumptions, your word becomes impeccable and your life is completely transformed. Magic just happens in your life. What you need comes to easily because you trust, because the spirit moves freely through you. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up by 481, NASDAQ up 151, S&P's up 51, gold. Gold contract trading uh, down $2.70 at 18.22 an ounce. We have silver down 10 cents, $24.16 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $2.20, trading at $78.43 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note, flat 113.16. The 30 year, also flat 128.03 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 260 ticks, trading 104.225. The euro is at 106. The yen is out here at a price point of 132. And the British pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, the bottom line, we know we have a holiday week. Uh, coming into the holiday week, you you're up 520. You get 51 million shares traded. You know, bottom line, you you're coming into 117. You know. So we'll see, you know, this is setting up a potential ABC structure down. We go take a look at the NDX 100, the three Q's. What do we have with the three Q's? Bottom line inside the three Q's, same type of setup. You're up $3.65 in the Q's. You're at uh, 273.22. That's coming into 68 million. And right now we have 35. Notes and bonds. Now the note and bond market, folks, bottom line, can, wants lower price, higher yield. We had a big expansion of volume out here yesterday. Check this out. So if we take a look at the note in the bond market, what you're going to see out here, yesterday we came down with 1.4 million contracts. That's telling me that, guess what, now it's game town, downtown once again. You, know, you had the counter trend bounce. You know, we got up to this price point on the 10-year of 115.11. Now the thing wants lower price again, higher yield. And we get over to the good old dollar, we take a look at the dollar. We'll see whether we get any follow-through, any traction on the dollar. The biggest thing I can tell you, say about the dollar, folks, okay, meaning that it wants higher price, is that yesterday when the yen got stronger by basically 7%, the dollar did not break its low of 103.448. As did, as did, when we go over to the yen, you're going to see the same type of setup inside the yen, that the yen, bottom line, didn't break its low also of four months ago, which is the 130.41. We got to a price point out here of 130.58. So this is gonna get intriguing to watch how this shakes out. We go over to the gold contract, gold contract got above the highs yesterday. It's underneath them right now. We'll see if this dollar wants to go higher. Um, you know, the, the, the deal inside the gold market, folks, that I'm looking at is that you, three times we have gone up here. And you know what, if, as long as we close where we're close where we are right now, the bottom line, that'll be saying that that last engulfing inside of the gold contract 
basically is on, meaning that patent's on, okay? The way a blast engulfing works, you know, we've had three of them too, by the way. The first one was laid out here on the 1st of December. The second one was laid out here on the 13th, and the third one was yesterday. Now, we have two different things inside the gold contract that we did not do, and that was, number one, get to the high when you had an outstanding day. It should have got to the high. And then number two, the bottom line, you're over this today. Uh, you got a big contraction of volume, because we watch this contraction of volume. There we go. Let's see. Put this in here. Here's a contraction of volume. Yesterday, you did uh, 197,000 contracts, and today you're at 100. That's not good. That's the, that's the bottom line. Some of the higher volume equities out here, you had, uh, uh, well, Nike. Nike is moving uh, the Dow out here in a big way today. Nike came out with numbers last night. Uh, bottom line, you know, market-wise, you know, we'll see how this shakes out. It tested its swing point of the 118.47. And, you know, bottom line, it's not holding that price. So we'll see if this gap's going to get filled sooner rather than later uh, on Nike. FDX, Fred, FedEx also come out with numbers. Let's see what they're doing out here today. So FedEx, not bad. You know, bottom line is that, it's, you know, it's up a couple points. You have, well, you're up six bucks, um, you know, and you get a little juice there. So FedEx more than likely will be, Maybe in a consolidation for a bit. Some of the other high of volume equities. Oh, we gotta we gotta talk about Kathy Woodman. She's just like she's just stop, don't stop buying Tesla on the way down. That's pretty intense, man. I mean, you know, my take is just an ABC structure on the way down, and guess what? She just keeps buying. So this is gonna be it's gonna be heavy, man. That's the bottom line. You know, Tesla Tesla just can't hold uh, a price. That's that's the real bottom line out here, folks. Uh, pretty amazing. So we also had, financially, uh, bottom line is that if you haven't seen the summaries with Trump's taxes, folks, the bottom line is that they're out there. Um, and here's the numbers. Here, check this out. This is pretty amazing. So on the summary, uh, on the taxes, I, I'm looking at them on, on the other, my other computer right now. So 2015, he lost $31 million. 2016, he lost $64 million. Now, 2017 and 2018, he filed together. He lost $53 million. And then, and then 2019, he lost $43 million. So in the last five years, no, one, two, three, four, the last six years, he's lost $191 million. You're going to have some fun with these taxes. Um, yeah, you get the gist of it. And, that, uh, and one of them, the, the, the W-2 folks working will, you know, Bottom line, you'll, hey, we, we know how this goes. The bottom line is that we'll see where the rest of the shakes out and what else is inside of those. Um, I, was, I was downloading these this morning, I, and I didn't, what ended up happening is that it, it's, um, they, I just found them inside of an article. So it was pretty wild. Dow, Dow Industrials right now uh, up a 508, Nasdaq's up 160, S&P's up 55. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up 501. You get the NASDAQ up 158. S&P's up 54. Let's go take a look at, uh, I think this is COMEX. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, COMEX. Okay. So the low is $54. The high is 139. Okay. So let's take a look at what we have here. This doesn't look too inviting, <laughs> that's for sure. So, your last low out here, what, about eight weeks ago, is 54.85. Let me just look at this. So, the low for the year is 54.85. The high is 139. Okay, so you're running a PE of 15. They're looking to take 7.2 billion to the top line and 64 cents to the bottom line. Yeah, I wouldn't be buying this. That's the bottom line. Um, I see. So that's when the, the, the target is looking for it to go lower. Yeah, I mean, I, this doesn't look to me um, like it wants to go higher. In fact, what's an ABC down? Yeah, it's an ABC down. Here you go. Oh my God. Let's see what this is. So you get. We take a look at this. Okay, so this does go right to the top, the eight, 155.98. And your B on this is 84.37. Your C is 106.25. <laughs> oh my. I guess you're $21.88. That low is 37. Yeah. Let me see where 21 is, man. It's an ABC down on a monthly to $21.87. Yeah, there you they, they go, Jimmy. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Man. That could take you back. Yeah, it takes you way back to, uh, what's that, 2010. Yeah, they're probably there. And have, we have a high volume low right there at 54.85. So that's that's the next stop down too. that's that's the reality. If we go inside the Dow industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness, there was only one equity that was in the red earlier. Yeah, it still is. It's wall being wall, wall green boots. Uh, so you got Nike putting uh, 90 
positive points. Boeing, 47. Caterpillar, 42. Johnson, I mean, United Health, 37. Only one in the red is uh, Wall Beans uh, Group Boots, and that's minus five points. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. What do you have inside the NDX 100? Whoops. Roll this back that way. Come on, go back that way. Okay, we have uh, Syntas up 4.3%. Oh, we're going to go back to that one. I can't wait to see that one. Moderna is up 3.9. You get Netflix up 3.8. Uh, take it away from it. Walgreens down 2%. 2, 2 CrowdStrike 1.5. You get uh, Palo Alto 1.5 and Workday 1.2. So let's go back to Syntas for a second because Syntas does, you know, the, this is like <clears throat> what, um, you know, commerce in general you know, basically, this company would get hit if we're going to go down south. Because what you have there, this is all, you know, it's entrance mats, it's restaurant supplies, it's, you know, fire protection. Uh, you, you see this, these signs everywhere. Now, the low is 344, the high is 470, and this high was generated this month. So this is a really intriguing um, that this can, is staying this high. Let's take a look. Okay, so put this on, put it on a weekly first and put it on a monthly. So you're at highs. Yeah, you know, what's interesting about this, man, I mean, we're at highs and that had volume like, going up into those levels. You know, so this is pretty cool, man, because when you're looking at this equity, you know, this equity, you know, basically is saying that, we might be getting a recession, but that's not going to be, if we, if we just look at that equity, that's not going to be a full-blown recession because the bottom line is that, you know, there are so many companies that pay them to come out to their place of businesses, and that's at an all-time high, man. So this is, that's, that's, that's a heads up, man. That is definitely a heads up that we gotta keep our eye on, that's for sure. Let's go over to the uh, oil market because the oil market, bottom line, let's see, CL. First we're gonna go with the, the current contract. So the current contract right now, you take it a swing point out with 216,000 contracts. Well, you don't have the volume, but you're taking it out. So that's saying that, that they, you know, you're back inside the range, so that, I mean, the next swing point out here. So here's, here's your, oh yeah, no, no, you are taking that with volume. Hold on one second, you are. So you went down in volume, so it's not an ABC up, that's for sure. But you are taking the swing out in volume. So the swing we're talking about is 77.83. That had 188,000 contracts. Right now you're 216. So that says that can go to the next swing. If we go to the XLE then and take a look at the XLE and see where we're at there. Yeah, this is just, that's, that's, the XLE is going into 32 million with 13 million. The uh, Exxon Mobil, one of the biggest weightings inside the XLE, same setup. You're going 8 million is going into 19 million. This is the, this is, these, these are the weeks that I was talking, I was talking, Talking about the gold contracts yesterday and the gold equities yesterday, you don't want them going higher when you know that you got lighter volume that's coming at you. That's, that's just a problem. That's the real bottom line. So we'll see how this shakes out. So schedule-wise, what ends up happening, folks, is that you know we have this week. Um, i got to look for a second. Well, here, let's do shop first. When I come back, I'll do the scheduling. If we look at Shopify for one of the tigers out here, um, let's see, Joe. So Shopify has a low uh, of the year of 23, a high of 145. Uh, bottom line is that they, they take a huge amount of money in, but they don't make money. Uh, so they're looking to take uh, 1.6 billion in and lose two cents in the next quarter. We take a look at this. Put this on a weekly. Okay, so that swing is 45, 43, and he didn't even make it. So this is dangerous. Now, I wouldn't be buying Shopify, man. Nope. And you can see what happens. See this last Friday? We go at the 45.06, and the swing point 
was 45-43. And he couldn't make it. That, when, when you have been going down for quite some time, folks, and then you get the pop-up, and you get volume with it, and you get next to the swing point and you can't make it, it's a huge problem. And that's exactly what Shopify is in. And we know they're losing money, so the bottom line is that, you know, what's the catalyst to buying it, right? You, at lower prices, yeah, there might be a catalyst. Dow Industrials right now up uh, 496, NASDAQ's up 159, S&P's up 55. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrial is uh, up uh, 467. S&P's up uh, 50. Uh, Nasdaq's up 148. Let's go take a look at NVIDIA for a couple of the targets out here. So NVIDIA, the low for the year is 108. The high is 313. Next time they come out with the numbers is on the 22nd of February. They're trading up $4. You're at 164 right now. Okay, so this tiger is looking to shot this. What I would do is this. I, I would wait until probably Friday <laughs> because what, what you have here is this. Okay, you're up today. You know, if this market, you know, pops up the next couple days, it's set, my take would be setting up an ABC structure on the way down. So NVIDIA, you know, got up here today to 166. You know, I'd, yeah, I'd wait a few more days, you know, because there's a gap up there at 174. It'd be really cool if it got up there, if you had got a contraction of volume. Actually, no, when I'm looking at this, actually, no. No, 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 no. Hold it, hold it, hold it. 
No, you wouldn't be shot in this. One second, hold it. We have volume up here, man. This might be an ABC up. One second, let me put this. I put it on a one year weekly. $292 million, 256. So it's not an ABC, well, it's on a daily again. So on a daily, yeah, I wouldn't be shot in this. What I would do, I'd let it go up and test. This, this, I suspect, will test that swing high up here. See, the, the, see the expansion of volume? The expansion of volume was pretty big last week. Um, it, it's coming into, now watch this. this. This is where this gets interesting with time in the trade, folks, okay? So I'm always looking for what is it coming into, and in this one here, you can see this, right? Watch this. This is pretty cool. Is that the day? That's the day right there. So watch this. Here's the gap. I'm going to put that line across, right? See this high volume day from last week? Okay, 65 million shares, right? But you're coming into 98. You're always looking for how do you come into prices that you're trying to get higher than. And you can see what also happened is that it didn't hold price. Well, no, it did hold price. It just it held price that day, and then it gapped down the next day. It, it closed that big volume day at 180, and then it closed the following day at 176. You know, I, so I suspect that's going to get tested. Yeah, that's that's how that's laying out right now. Uh, we take a look at uh, CEI. Let's see, CEI. Okay, this is an energy company. A company uh, develops, ex produces natural gas, oil and natural gas, West Texas. This must be a, yeah, this, is, this company only takes $136,000 in. Look at this, man. How do you, <laughs> how do you take $136,000 in? We got a $71 million market cap so yeah I wouldn't be touching this thing whatever this yeah just yeah this is whatever this is yeah I wouldn't be touching it. if you own it I'd, I'd get rid of this so quick you couldn't see straight because the bottom line is that the let me look at this issue info, info for a second But adjusted, yeah. This is so. Picture this. This here, when you, when you take a look at, see what you're looking at right here. Um, split adjusted, one seventeen. See this. <laughs> see, see see this number after it. This is this was a this was a an offering that was a shelf offering, meaning that it was a company that already went BK. Um, they turned around and used the, and this, this happens a lot, you buy it off the shelf, okay, so you don't have to go public. But see, see the split, see the split adjusted price, see, that, see how many numbers there are? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten numbers before the decimal point, okay? Bottom line, yeah. Don't even think about it. That's, that's the real bottom line here. Let's get over to the uh, E-minis just for a second and see what we can figure out coming into this close. You got, uh, what do we got, 30 minutes coming into the close. So the high today was 39.18. You're kind of laying right at it. You're, you're at 39.03, but that's, you know, basically laying at highs. Okay, so your first high had 31,000 contracts, your second high at 20, at 19, then you're pushing down with 28,000. Okay, so more than likely, you're going to see some pressure coming into this close here. Let me go to the NQs for a second. Take a look at the NQs. Okay, so the NQs, the first high of today, had 118,000 contracts, the second high at 99, and your last sell down just had 113. That's a, this is also going to take some pressure because the last low here had 105. Now, it didn't make it to the low, but that's telling me that 
Let's see, 340, yeah. Once you get back inside, see this 340 we got back inside? The 11,340, or 11,334. That's saying that it can make it to the lower end of the consolidation that we're in. And we'll see how it shakes out. It's going to be all about what those machines want to do out here today. Kevin, Kevin Hanks, when he was on with Tommy this morning, it was, it was, it was, a, it was a great say. It's always a great segment, but it was intriguing, you know, that he was talking about. You could get a picture. The, 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 the folks that think of swim uh, with so cool folks is that they have so much experience because, you know, they were all market makers at the SIBO. Okay, so the bottom line is that, you know, you can imagine how many trades they've seen and how many you know, in general. And he, what he's talking about is that, yeah, you know, if this was in the old days, the bottom line, he'd be saying that, yeah, this is going to be slower volume and all that. But the bottom line, because the machines have taken over such a, in a dramatic way, well, the bottom line is machines don't take off. You know, yes, they'll, they'll do less because there's less volume all around. But the bottom line is that what you do have is that the machines continually to work. You know, so the machines and the machines themselves most, they, they are trend-following machines. So if they can flip it around just a little, bottom line, they'll get it going, you know. So we'll see how this uh, shakes out this whole week. You know, if we go over to the, you know, this is kind of cool. If we go over to the, the UUP, now the UUP, you know, is a, somewhat of a correlation of the dollar. I mean, it, it's the ETF for the dollar index, and it does trade a lot, you know. So if we take a look at the, ETF for the dollar, and we put this on a weekly, what you're going to see out here is that the bottom line is that, you know, you came down into strength from, what is this, from June of 2022. We had volume there of uh, 27.59, had volume of uh, 23 million. Uh, thus far, we're at 13 million, you know, so we'll see, you know, bay, bay bottom line is that if this thing can get any, any kind of a bounce, you know. The thing is really wild about this, actually. This would be really crazy because the UUP actually has volume at its highs. Wild. I don't, I don't use that a lot, but I do like looking at that, you know, particularly when it's a wild card as to what this dollar wants to do. Dow, Dow Industrials up 500 flat. NASDAQ up 161, S&P's up 55. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up by 489. You get the NASDAQ up 156. S&P's up 52. Let's go take a look at uh, a REIT for one of the tigers out here. So this is the symbols O, folks. Uh, let's see what they... So this is a REIT that, that focuses on technology solutions. Oh, is that right? No. One second. That's so weird about this, man. Every time that, oh, I see what happened. Yeah. I got it. Here we go. Okay, let's take it. Here it is. Okay. So it's Realty Income Corporation. Okay. They manage a portfolio of commercial properties located across the United States. Uh, they focus on acquiring single-tenant retail locations, leased to national chains and the long-term agreements. Realty Income owns 11,135 mostly retail properties spanning 210 million square feet. Realty Income's top five tenants include Walgreens, FedEx, 7-Eleven, Dollar General, FedEx. Okay, so, okay. So, you get a couple different things here. These, the tenants that they have, folks, when you're, a, when you're a, a single, you see this up here, single tenant retail location? You know, like when you, when you go by uh, malls and you go by anything else and they say, out parcel for lease and all that, and that's where they build these? That's a great business, okay? The bottom line is that you, you don't have the full mall, so you don't have the aspect of, you know, filling the whole mall. What you have, and the way that this gets done, is that the 7-Eleven, FedEx, Dollar General, all these people, they have folks that are always looking for real estate, okay? The bottom line, most times what ends up happening is that you have, first you have the company, then you have the REIT, Okay, now let's say the REIT's up here. The REIT's up here. The next one would be the developer and then the companies down here. Now, across the country, what happens is the developers that only specialize in exactly this, building these. So the way it works is that the developer goes out, gets the land, talks to one or more of these clients. Bottom line, they say, okay, we'll make a deal. The developer has to put the money up. Then they do a lease back. And if you've seen these ads inside the uh, Wall Street Journal, little tiny ads, the bottom line is that this is where the triple net market cap, you know, if you get, these are class A clients, okay? You get class A clients, you call it probably, they're, they're pushing out, maybe they right, have 4.7%, 5.1%, something like this in the market cap, okay? So now let's go take a look at the aspect of the highs and lows. So the high uh, is $75, the low is 55 Now, this tag is thinking of shortness, and I wouldn't shot it. The reason being, see this percentage of shot, this 20%, 19.9. Oh, no, it's only 3%. Three, 3 oh, that's not bad. Okay, no, that's not bad. 3% is not bad. I would still let this go a little bit higher because what, what you have here is this, is that it didn't hold price out here today, but I try to get it at the higher end of this consolidation, which is somewhere up about the $66. 
Now, this is not, and this is why I went through that the whole time, okay? This is not like shotting basic, well, here, let me bring Simon. Let's go bring up Simon Properties. Simon Properties is the largest mall owner in the United States, okay? So we take a look at Simon Properties. This, this is actually a mind blower. Okay, so the, so the low for the year is 86, the high is 165, you're trading 116, and there's only a 2% short position in this. And in the last three months, look at the last three months, the stock went from 86 to 116. Okay, so let me pull this up. Yeah, this still doesn't want to go anywhere. Now, this equity here, I would say in general that, let, let me show you this again, because this is pretty cool. Do you see the break that we've got? If we go back even, um, you know, like two months ago, right? Let's see, what is that? Yeah, September, October, November. It's gone from $86 all the way up to this price point of $120. Well, the, the reason for that is that what we had is this is that the bond market, okay? So we pull up the bond market and we take a look at the bond market. So what you have with the bond market, you can see, you know, we're 3.65 right now on the 10 year, right? The, the low is 3.4 in three months, the high is 4.2. Well, you can see what has happened. Because interest rates have come down, what you had is you had the spike on the, on the way up for these real estate companies, right? Now, the bond market's going south again. And the smarter when I'm committed to work, right? You know, I'm, I'm looking at properties, a couple different properties, and the properties that are coming on right now, especially in my, in my playground, you know, are pretty cool properties, and the prices have come down. There's, there's no two ways about that, okay? And it's like the, the couple that I was looking at, they're actually teardowns, and I'd, I'd build something else. That being said, in my own head, this would end up happening. I remember so explicitly, right? Now, this goes back to, my God, I think it's 92, 94, somewhere out there. And what had happened is this, is that the, the property market had taken a dip then, right? And what had ended up happening is that I believe it was the Iraq War, because it was in the spring. And I remember specifically what was, what was going on is that it was going down and then all of a sudden it took like a three month up and I actually moved something out in that up before it actually came back down again. And I think that's what you're seeing in this context because when we bring up this 10 year, this was the first time that the 10 year actually got volume on the way down from the whole move you know, the, the bond market topped out right now at 109.06, the 10-year. So that, that topped out on October 21st, right? Meaning higher rates. Now what ended up happening, if you take a look at this, what you, what you see here is that, you know, the bottom line is that you had volume. The volume was still good up till the 114.05 area. You go sideways. We go back down yesterday with 1.4 million. That's telling me that, guess what? You know, they're gonna need more contract volume on the way down, but it's telling me that, hey, guess what? These rates are going higher once again. And one of the, one of the biggest deals out here, I would say, is that why couldn't the dollar break the aspect of those lows yesterday? You know, that's, that's a big deal that it couldn't break it, man. That's the bottom line. So we'll see how the baby shakes out. And we will, we will fix Larry's video. And thank you for bringing that up. Not quite sure what, uh, but with that, that can get fixed right now. So Jacob, if you can check, take a look at that, I really appreciate it. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down four, up 464, NASDAQ up 143, S&P's up 51, come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 446. You get the NASDAQ up 143. S&P's up 48. Let's go take a look at the indice volume out here, folks. Uh, Inside the NYSE, you're at 509. So that's going to do probably about 758. So that's going to be a contraction. And inside the composite, you're going to be at 3.6. You're going to be about 4.2, 4.4. So you're going to get a contraction of volume. Uh, we're going to take a look at the SPY. What do you have with the SPY out here? 59 million is going into 117. Inside the Qs, oops. There we go. So inside the Qs right now, we have uh, 40 million. Coming into 60 million. And in the Q's case, this is really interesting because the Q's case, they couldn't even hold the 473.96, which was the high of Monday, which is, yeah. So let me go back to the spy again and see what's, because the, the Q's are showing again that they're really weak in a big way. So that number there is. That's going to be 386.57. We went to 387. 
Well, the, the difference is, is that the, the spies didn't hold Friday, but the Friday's a big volume day, so I, you know, that's probably trying to get into that gap. But you get the gist of it. The bottom line is more than likely you're setting up a ABC structure on the way down, because you got to remember something, that the, the SPY is in a larger ABC structure on the way down. You get a bounce, you get a bounce at light volume. That's all she wrote. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.